track eight is Spellbound, which is one of my favorite songs in the record. It's very important to me because it's a song I wrote for my mom. It's called Spellbound because my mom had quite a magical way about her and she was kind of goofy. So I wrote a song that felt like sort of like when she was active in the music industry it was like the 60s and 70s so i wanted it to feel like a like a real beatlesy um like the beatles used to do those songs that were like it was a simple pop song but all on like overdubbed symphonic instruments so i i decided to take a stab at that um we had a lot of fun recording that oh, that's all real you can tell it's all real i mean uh, especially the strings this is my friend hal beckett we have done Several records together. Yes, we have. Hal brings all of my orchestration stuff to life and makes it all work. Thank you. And I thank him so much for <laughs> Thanks for the work, and it's great. Yeah, um, so the the second half of that section, once you guys are rising, I liked it. I liked it like that, but those first hits, when you're when it's descending, yeah. we really want to land on the one. Uh, okay. Oh, like Cut yeah, hey, try. and like really crescendo into it. Um, I learned a lot of lessons recording that song. Um, that string part is super difficult, even though it's it's not difficult to play, but um, because it's all so short spiccato and they're so exposed, because it's only one player per part. It's a string quintet. It's a really sort of Beatlesy. It's like a you know, it's a pop song with all symphonic instruments. So we're going for that like Beatlesy. B bordering on goofy, almost, even, with the, especially with some, well, both of your parts have a bit of goofiness to them. That was the first time in my career when I had the brass players in there, like the trombone and the tuba and stuff, that I was actually giving notes like, can you play it goofier? Can you make it goofier? Um, but I knew, like, if I was going to write a song for my mom, um, I wanted it to feel like her, and and that song does feel like her. It's 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 still musically actually like quite complicated, even though it sounds simple. Um, all the arrangement stuff is is I think I think my mom would have been happy with that. I think she would have thought it was crafty. I made sure that it was a vocal that um, would require me to use a lot of technique um, because I learned vocal technique from my mom. So I wanted it to have something where uh, it was a challenging thing for me and to make it feel effortless. I thought that would have made my mom proud. Um, and, uh, and then the big, huge vocal section in the middle, that's sort of like the one time on the album that I did that because I tried to stay away from that because that's really something that people associate with Mariana's. But, I still also associate that with like my parents, so because uh, I learned about that stuff from them. So I, uh, yeah.